Today, federal health officials are saying they are convinced this will be the worst year for West Nile deaths and severe illnesses since the disease hit America's shores in 1999. In Arizona, it hasn't been as bad this year, but as we know, all it takes is a little standing water for mosquitoes to hatch, fly, bite, and spread disease. What's in the Pantano is a lot of standing water, and that has residents so worried they asked us to investigate, so we did. Not in your sides, Corey Marshall got to the bottom of the pond and joins us live. Yeah, guy, simply put, the concern here is those itchy mosquito bites and subsequently the threat of West Nile. The mosquitoes have gotten so bad that I hate to have him come over and I really miss having him. Judy Wagner lives a short walk from the Pantano Wash. She says the standing water that's accumulated has prevented her three-year-old grandson, Noah, from visiting. He's the reason she called nine on your side. And it isn't just residents concerned with the pooling. I just think it's too dangerous, and they should never have left it like that. Joyce Orms' office backs up to the wash. She's seen kids playing within the wash as recently as last Sunday. From a residential standpoint, um, we have a, a very good handle on the treatment scenario here, so I would not be overly concerned about the mosquito breeding at that location. They say they have a handle on mosquito treatment, but pumping, actually removing the water, isn't an option. And they said that pumping the water out with the pump that they've rented, they rent it for three months a year, they said it just isn't feasible, it's not powerful enough. What do you have to say to that? I would say get a more powerful pump. The reason the water is collecting in the first place, bank stabilization work. Construction up and down the wash aimed at preventing wash erosion. That work actually created indents in the wash. They should have made it level when they, be, you can't leave it like that. They need to level it out so the water flows like it used to. Now, the work that the district is doing here with mosquito abatement is strictly preventative. They're using larvicide briquettes that actually dissolve into the water and kill the mosquito larva before they even have a chance to hatch and bite. At Pantano, Wash, Corey Marshall, KGA 9 on your side. Uh, Corey, it seems like anywhere you go these days, mosquitoes are a problem. What can people at home do to fight the bite? Well, quite simply, just check your yard for any standing water. That includes even dog bowls, old tires. This is where that monsoon rain collects and accumulates, and really, it doesn't take much for larvae to grow in. Say you've done this in the last week or so, well, do yourself a favor, a, a favor and check again. Really, only a few days of standing water will produce some nasty mm -hmm. biters. Guy. Good advice, Corey. Thank you. Now, if you have a problem you need nine in your side to get to the bottom of, just ask and we'll investigate. All you have to do is email us news at kgun9.com or call the nine in your side line at.